Hi guys, welcome to my channel Odia Engineer and today uh, we will be uh, talking about how to apply your Java patches using your telnet command and people who are into SAP basis or who are fresher who wants to start the career in SAP basis uh, you can refer to this video if you want to know how to apply the Java patches using the telnet command. So the first thing is you need to identify what are the prerequisites uh, whenever you want to apply a patch using your telnet command okay and first thing is your your telnet should be enabled in your server I mean the Linux server uh, where you want to use the command telnet <clears throat> the telnet functionality should be enabled because most of the customers they disable the telnet functionalities so ensure it is enabled second is your uh, use your VLC sessions suppose you are applying a file and that is having with larger size then it might take a lot of time so it's always good to have the VLC session open uh, because even your internet get disconnected uh, the session will be remaining active third thing is your your administrator credentials because whenever you are going to apply a Java system patch then you need the J2E admin credentials that is uh, the administrator user and you should have the J2E admin password with you and last but not the least uh, you need to download the java file which file you want to apply I mean the patch file and you need to upload the server upload into the server and keep in a shared location where the file can be accessible and last and uh, next very important point is uh, you should take a backup of your existing system uh, for the set side so these are the steps to apply the using I mean apply patch using telnet so first thing you need to like you need to log into your VLC session and uh, <clears throat> uh, if you are not interested to use VLC that is also fine okay and always use the uh, you know you need to, once you log in you need to switch to SID ADM and uh, always deploy telnet from SID ADM and <clears throat> the standard command for telnet is your uh, you need to telnet your local host and you need to give the uh, the port would be 5 instance number and 08 this is standard across uh, all the Linux platforms so you can use uh, local host 56108 example here you can see the way I've given the example if the instance number is 61 then I need to use the command called telnet localhost 56108 and as you can see in the screenshot I mean in the photo and uh, the picture you can see uh, once you connect to the localhost you need to en en you know enter the password for your J2 admin so once you get the details and the credentials are working fine then it, the telnet is connected okay this is the first step you need to connect to the telnet and your telnet should be connected to your local host and this step is very important because this says about it says about how to apply the uh, telnet i mean apply the patch using telnet and the simple command is deploy okay so you need to just set the deploy then you need to have the patch location and you always you don't need to use the command entirely like deploy underscore error is equal to stop i mean why we use it because if in case of any error happen during the you know while applying the patch then your telnet will immediately stop okay so that your further components won't be disturbed so that's the reason uh, i use the command is deploy then the patch file location on deploy underscore error is equal to stop so you can see in the picture as well so it is connected to the telnet and once it is connected we use the command code deploy and after that it is deployed and <clears throat> for telnet you don't need to restart your server manually because telnet will take it down take down the server and it will bring it up so whatever things it does it will do immediately and automatically so you don't need to worry about it and once you apply uh, once you deploy your patches then you need to validate if your patch is successful or not so for that you can use the command get underscore results and this command you can use when you connect to your telnet console so once you give the details then you can see 
uh, the files are applied and the last you can see there is a deployment status is success so if the deployment status is success for that particular component which you are applying or then you are good to go with and your patch deployment is successful okay and also sometime yeah i mean for single file or one or two files i recommend telnet to be used because telnet doesn't cause much downtime and in case sometimes what happens if in your uh, even your patch is successful there would be some issue so i suggest if you just have a clean restart of your server that will fix the issue so thank you thanks for watching guys and please like and subscribe to my channel hodia engineer for more it or software related videos and also i will be posting some more videos about sap basis so thank you and happy new year guys